Breath of Joy comes from Kripalu Yoga, which was influenced in its creation by Kundalini Yoga. So there is a familiar Kundalini quality here of coordinating a dynamic breathing practice with the movements of the body. Remember, this is breath of joy, not breath of consternation or frustration. So once you get the coordination, or once you simply get flapping, add in the joy, even if you have to fake it initially. Find your feet in a good, comfortable stance underneath you. Keep a little bend in your knees, especially if you have a tendency to get lightheaded. Inhale, lift your shoulders up, roll them back. Taking some shoulder shrugs here. A few more circles with your shoulders. Inhale, lift them up towards your ears, and exhale, roll them down and back. Breathing your shoulders up and forward, and then down and back as you exhale. Then as you release your shoulders down, look down and check out your feet underneath you. Bring them parallel to each other so your second toes are pointing straight ahead. This may be a little odd if you haven't done this kind of standing before. Then bend your knees and look down and see that you can see your big toes inside your kneecaps. So if you can't see that, if your knees have rolled inwards, you may have to take your feet closer to each other so that when you bend your knees, they naturally go out over the middle of the toes and your big toes are visible between your kneecaps. Because we're not going to focus on the knees and the legs. We want to make sure they're safe. Once you find that, lengthen up through your legs again. Bring one hand onto your belly. This is a bit of a dynamic breath. So with the first sniff of three sniffs, think of breathing into your hand on your belly, the second one into the ribs, and the third one up into the upper chest. Then when we exhale with the sound ha, draw your belly back away from your hand towards your spine. See if you can feel that. If you don't find it, that's fine, but use your hand there to gauge. Starting with the breath in, in three sniffs. Ha! 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 Keep going. See if you can feel that you're filling in three parts and then emptying with that strong sound. So the advantage of making that sound, drawing the belly back, is that you empty the lungs fully, and then you have room to take more breath in. Then releasing out with this last one. Release your arms down by your sides. So we're going to add the arms in so that there will be a movement with each part of the breath. Let your knees soften, your knees bend a little bit. With this first sniff, bring your arms up in front. Then second sniff, arms out to the sides. Third sniff, arms all the way up overhead. Then fold over when you ha. 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 In these last few ones, if you haven't already automatically added in the quality of joy, add that into this practice. This is called breath of joy, so let it be light. If you're not feeling joyful, just fake it. Let your face lighten. Just a couple more. Last one. As you come up, lift your arms up overhead. Inhale, then take them back behind you and exhale through your mouth. Because you've moved your heart and your body a little bit, you may need to go quickly with the breath so you get the breath you need. Inhale through your nose as you lift your arms in front. Exhale through your mouth as you take your arms back behind you. And listen to the sound of the breath. On the inhale, as it comes through the nose, see if you can hear a steady quality of the sound. And on the exhale, the same as it goes out through the mouth. Finding the pace that you need so that you're getting the oxygen that you need. And as soon as you find that pace, 
then breath by breath start to slow it down. See if you can take more time to inhale and to exhale. So the arms move at one continuous pace in one continuous circle as the breath circles. In these last few breaths, see if you can play with exhaling through the nose as well as inhaling through the nose, but keeping that sound that you are making in your mouth. So you're basically just closing your mouth and continuing the same sound that you were making when you had your mouth open. You're closing your lips around the sound. Trying that initially on the exhale, and if it feels like you have a sense of it, it sounds a little bit like Darth Vader, like the sound of the ocean in a shell, when you find it on the exhale, you can then play with adding it into the inhale. As you release your arms down this next time, just pause for a moment, letting your arms hang. If you feel balanced, you might try closing your eyes. See if you can keep that breath going, even without circling your arms. And notice, if you can remember what you felt like a moment ago with breath of joy, the quality of that breath versus the quality of this breath, which is an ocean-sounding breath. So you might find that you feel a little bit calmer, a little bit more balanced. <laughs> 